today's lesson we are focusing on physics tension lesson 103 let us start our questions for today the scenario a 5 kg block resting on a rough horizontal table is connected by a light inextensible string passing over a light frictionless pulley to another block of mass 2 kg the 2 kg block hangs vertically as shown in the diagram below a force of 60 newtons is applied to the 5 kg block at an angle of 10 degrees to the horizontal causing the block to accelerate to the left the coefficient of kinetic frictional force between the 5 kg block and the surface of the table is 0 0.5 ignore the effects of air friction so this is our question for today from the scenario we are given that the coefficient of this is 0 0.5 and then all the values are given in the diagram the first question 3.1 draw a labeled free body diagram showing all the forces acting on the 5 kg block we can quickly draw it here you can see the mark allocation is five marks so it means we have five forces acting on this block so we have weight normal force kinetic friction tension and our force applied this direction there is a lesson video whereby we look at free body diagram for different types of scenarios it's very important to watch it to be covered in this type of questions now the second question before we go to the second question mark allocation will be for each force question 3.2.1 actually 3.2 calculate the magnitude of the 3.2.1 vertical component of the 16 newton force 3.2.2 horizontal component of the 16 newton force we need to find the vertical component of 16 newton force and the vertical component of 16 newton force this is the force you are talking about focusing on that block we actually need to find vertical it's fy horizontal it's fx so for vertical we have fy is equals to f applied sine theta so this angle is actually 10 degrees so fy is equals to 60 newtons sine 10 the answer will be 10.42 newtons so that is the first question now the second question we need to calculate fx which is f cos theta force you are still using the very same force cos 10 degrees fifty nine point zero nine newtons so this is our horizontal component we are done with the first question and the second one we can quickly go to our next question calculate the magnitude of the normal force acting on the 5 kg block that is this block now we are calculating for the normal force so the equation to calculate normal force it will be n is equals to fg minus fy so we have n is equals to mg minus 
f y so normal force is equals to 5 multiplied by 9.8 minus f y is 10.49 There's actually a problem. It's actually 10.42, not 10.49. So let us quickly rectify this. Instead of 42, we have 49. No, 42 actually. 42, not 49. And then normal force, 5 multiplied by 9.8 minus 10.42. Our answer is 88.58 newtons. So this is the normal force acting on the 5 kg block. Our next question, calculate the magnitude of the tension in the string connecting the two blocks. So we are going to calculate this tension here. We are done with this. And then we are here now. You can see it's 7 marks. So it means our equations will be a bit longer. Let us get to it. These are the actual forces acting on the 5 kg block. Now we know that the system will accelerate this direction. So it means we are going to take this direction as positive and then the opposite direction as negative. So all forces facing to the left will be positive, all forces, all forces facing to the opposite direction will be negative. So let us start. F net is equals to MA. We can see that we have four forces, actually five forces acting on the block, but we don't know how many forces are going to take part in the equation. But we know that forces which are parallel to the displacement will be part of the equation. And then forces which are perpendicular to the displacement will not take part. Now, starting with the applied force, we can see that the applied force is not parallel to the displacement. This is our displacement. You can see that this is not parallel to the displacement. But we know that there is a component of this force which is parallel to the displacement, which is our Fx. So Fx will be in the equation. Instead of taking this, we are going to use its component. So it will be positive Fx since the direction of this Fx is the same as the direction of the displacement. Plus, another force which is parallel is tension. So it will be negative tension since it's opposite direction. Plus, another one which will be Fk. It's negative Fk. It's equals to Ma. So these are the forces which will take part in the calculation. So we know what is our Fx, our tension, we are looking for it. And then we are going to calculate our Fk. So Fk is equals to coefficient multiplied by normal force. And then we know the value of normal force since we calculated it from the previous equation. I mean previous question, so we have 0, 0,5, our normal force is 38.58, so we are going to substitute by this on Fk, so our Fx, we also calculated Fx, Fx is 59.09 minus tension minus 0, 0.5, 38.58 it's equals to the mass it's 5a we make a the subject of the formula 
There is a long way whereby you make t the subject of the formula. You calculate the acceleration first, and then you back substitute to any equation to find tension. But in this case, the question is looking for the tension, so we are going to make a the subject of the formula. So from here we can quickly simplify this like terms. 59.09 minus 0 0.5 multiplied by 38.58. The answer is, let us see, it's, the answer is 39.8 minus tension it's equals to 5a. So we divide by 5 both sides. This will result in 2a is equals to negative t over 5 plus 39.8 divided by 5 it's 7.96. So this will be our equation number 1 generated from the 5 kg block. We need to generate equation 2 from the other block which is hanging the 2 kg block. So we know that when we pull the other object which is 5 kg block this direction the 2 kg block will move up so its displacement is up so all forces which are going up will be positive and then down will be negative so in this case you only have two forces acting on it which is tension and our fg so f net is equals to ma and then we have tension which will be positive since it's facing to the direction of the displacement plus negative fg it's equals to ma we know that fg is mg is equals to ma so we have t it's i mean so we have t minus the mass is 2 9.8 to A. So we have T minus 19.6 is equal to 2A. We divide both sides by 2. This will get rid of this. So A is equal to uh, t over 2 minus 9.8 this is equation 2 so these are our two equations generated from the two blocks since both of them they are equated to a I mean a is the subject of the formula so we can just equate the two equations so t over 2 minus 9.8 it's equals to negative t over 5 plus 7.96. We know that t over 2 is the same as 1 over 2 t. We transpose this to the other side, this one to this side. So it will be plus 1 over 5 t is equals to 7.96 plus 9.8. One over two plus one over five is zero point seven t. It's equals to seven point nine six plus nine point eight. It's seventeen point seven six. So we divide both sides by zero point seven. This will get rid of this. So we have t. It's equals to twenty five point three seven newtons so this is our actual answer we are actually done with this question that's it for this lesson video
Remember there is lesson 101, lesson 102, and lesson 104 of this chapter. This is Wahula SJ. Thank you very much.